Hey, what's up guys? In today's video in the Hunter Call of the Wild, I am here on Mississippi Acres on the brand, which is the brand new map. And I, I tell you what, it's absolutely amazing. I actually, in this video, I got my first ever super rare animal and uh, you're gonna be uh, pretty surprised as to what it is. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of this video. And I actually got an extra rare and surprisingly, it's the same exact uh, rare as my super rare, so uh, as you can probably tell from the thumbnail what species I'm talking about. But anyways, uh, before we get into it, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you turn on notifications for more future content. Also, make sure to drop a like on the video and drop a comment down below and tell me what you think of the video and whether you think uh, it really is a super rare or not, which I know it is because I have not seen very many of these posted, but... Uh, it was an awesome hunt, so I also uh, went and hunted some other species, so be sure to check that out. Okay, there's our first Bob White Co. right there. I don't know if I can get a shot on him or not, because I can't even see him. Man, hunting these guys are so difficult. They are just, like, super tiny, and I guess, like, out here in these trees, it's really tough to see them anyway. But I definitely uh, would recommend trying to get them into an open field, so that's actually what I'm going to do now. And I might or might not get them, so I guess you'll see in the next clip whether I uh, shoot one or not. Oh, there's one right there, actually. There we go, we finally got our first quail. Where is he at? I've seen him uh, land. Wow, they are so tiny. And this guy's actually only a silver, but that actually looks really cool. I've actually never seen what these guys really look like, but... I'm gonna go ahead and save this harvest for thumbnail purposes, but it looks like diamond is 260, so... I'm not really sure whether males or females are the ones that make it, but uh, there's only one way to find out, and that's by hunting them or just seeing it somewhere out in the community. Oh, there's another one right there, actually. I think we missed that one, unfortunately, but maybe we can get him with the 22. Oh, we actually got him. <laughs> I didn't expect to even come anywhere close near to hitting that guy. And let's see what fur type this guy is. Okay, this one here is a brown. I don't think he looks too much different from the other one, but still pretty cool. And I actually gave us 767 cash, so that's pretty good. What the heck is that? Oh, there's a raccoon right here. Wait a minute, slow down. There we go. That guy is going to go down. It's going to take him a second, but we'll give him some assistance there. And this guy is a brown raccoon, so... That is actually uh, something else, so <laughs> didn't expect that. Came out of nowhere. Got a uh, Bob White quail over here flying away, so let's see if we can actually hit this. Oh, we actually hit him way faster than I thought we would, but this one is actually level 2, so I'm kind of curious what this guy's going to score. Okay, so here is our level 2 male, and this one actually scored 210, so still not too sure whether the females or the males are the ones that make diamond, but... I guess we'll keep looking around to see if we can find any more. If not, we'll get a look for some gators. Okay, so I just saw a really good sized uh, wild hog drop down right over this little bank here. And I'm going to try to get him. I think that's, that's actually a different one. That's level 3. But there he is. That's the level 4. So I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy real quick. And that was actually a good shot. And I don't know if I can get this guy or not. I can try to. But he is still running at a full sprint, so. I don't think we got that shot, but let's go ahead and pick this other guy up. Alrighty, here is the hog that we just killed. And this one is a brown that scored 133, so he was only not, he's not even that far off from diamond, so. And that was a double long shot that just dropped him instantly, so. That's pretty good. I mean, if, as far as I know, they must have, uh buff the either they either buff the 303 or they nerf the health of the uh bald hogs because they're they seem to be easier to drop now than they used to be but that is awesome okay so i'm gonna go ahead and start looking for alligators i heard this was a pretty good spot through here so i'm gonna come up to this spot pretty slow i actually need to slow down now and i want to work my way north and cut through here and then go to the west and then go east maybe i don't know i want to do something like that and try to see if we can down a couple of gators maybe find a rare or diamond hopefully okay i've got an alligator right there i don't know you can't see it but he is right behind this bush 
and he's not very happy, so I'm going to try to sneak around this tree and stand up and see if I can maybe see him. I just can't tell where he's going. Sounds like he's right there, though. If I could just see him. There he is right there. I just can't spot him now. But that's good to know that he's not coming on the lane at this, at this second, because it gives me a chance to... Uh, possibly plan out a shot okay this one's actually only a level five so it's not really a big deal but if he goes over there on that land I might try to uh, get a better shot on him okay now hold on a second I hear another alligator over here to my right so I'm not really sure what to do here so I'm just gonna have to try to sneak backwards I can't tell if he's coming toward me or what oh there he is right there I think he's actually fleeing but I can't tell. He's going pretty quick. Okay, he slowed down, so he definitely didn't flee yet. It's a level six, here we go. Oh, that is not the right gun. But uh, let's see if we can get this guy here. There we go. That was actually a good shot on him. That should be a good next shot, but um, yeah, from what I've seen, the uh, it's actually really, really tough to hunt these alligators, and uh, is this uh, that's an olive, I think, but yeah, that's just an olive, but it's actually really tough to hunt these alligators because of, uh, it's really tough to, like, get them broadside and stuff, but we got upper neck and jaw, so that's definitely a vital shot. Okay, so I just spotted this level 6 alligator right here. There's also a level 7 out here. That's actually a different level 7. There's, uh, two different level 7s out here, and I swore when this thing turned around, I thought it was piebald, so... It very well may be a piebald, so I need to wait for this guy to get up on the land just a little bit further, and we'll try to make a good shot on him. Okay, now that I, I can actually see him a little bit better, I don't think he's actually a piebald, but either way, since he fooled me, I'm actually going to go ahead and shoot this guy out of spite anyway, so I'm going to wait for him to stop or something, so that way I can try to make a decent shot, but nothing is guaranteed since this guy is literally facing head on, and... I'm not really quite sure where to aim other than the brain, but looks like he's going to actually turn around for us, though. Maybe we can shoot him here like this. And that was actually a good shot. <laughs> I did not expect that at all. And there's the other alligator out there. I wonder if we can get that. Uh, yeah, that's not even going to register, but I'm surprised he's still calm. That's kind of weird, but let's go ahead and pick up his level 6. Yeah, so lucky this, luckily this right here actually wasn't very deep. So we actually didn't have to really worry about him going very far anyway, but there is our next shot, and this guy scored 368, so this guy is also an olive. So I'm assuming that the olive is like the most common fur, or most common fur, the most common like scale type, I guess you could say. But let's see if we can find ourselves a better alligator, or maybe shoot some more of them. Okay, so I actually have a raccoon right here on the other side of this tree. Um... I'm not sure if I can get a spotting on him or not. There he is right there. And he's actually level 3. So, I'm going to go ahead and shoot this guy whenever I get the chance here. And we got him. We actually got a hit in him, so... That was actually pretty nice. And I could just barely see him, too, so... That's... Yeah, 100% we got a... We got a shot at him, so... I can't see what fur type it is, but... We'll find out here in just a second when this guy goes down. Whoa, he's still alive. Hold on a second. That'll take him down. <laughs> Jesus, I did not expect that to happen. <laughs> Man, look at that spread, too. <laughs> Literally just blew his shoulder off completely, but, uh, yeah, there's that guy. Well, um, I just found a leucistic max weight estimate female eastern cottontail rabbit track. Um, I actually just got done recording the part for the end of this video but this is actually going to come first because I'm going to go ahead and just squeeze this one on in here because uh, I did not expect to find another one and this one is actually three to four three to almost five pounds so I want to find this thing and I really hope it's a super rare all right guys I got him right here I gotta shoot him now I think we got him man yep he's dead <laughs> I really hope this one's a diamond, but it's only level 2, so I don't think it's going to make it, but we did get a loose cystic rabbit finally, and I actually tracked this guy, uh, let's see, 
I got his track right here. Let's see how far that is, actually. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. That's uh, right about there. That's about right. So we just tracked him about 700 yards, but let's see what this guy's score is. Oh my god, it was a diamond. Oh, are you serious? <laughs> I can't believe it. We just got a diamond loose to grab it. Oh my god. 1.9. Diamond is 1.9. Holy crap. Oh my god. My heart's racing right now. <laughs> that's my first super rare. My first real that's not bugged super rare. Finally. Holy crap. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go ahead and cut to the other leucistic rabbit that we killed. Uh, well, guys, we actually just found something really special, so if, if I can get close enough to the track, uh, if you look here, I just found a leucistic uh, eastern cottontail rabbit, so I really need to go after this guy, and we'll have our first rare off of uh, Mississippi Acres. Oh my god, guys, we finally found this thing. I am 99% sure that this is him, but... Long as, as you can see, it's nighttime now, and I've been at this for a really long time, and I don't want to waste any more time. So I'm gonna actually shoot this guy with the bow and see how we do here. There we go. Th this has to be him, right? I mean, this is the resting zone that I've got for the leucistic rabbit. Please be him. Yes. Oh my God. It's actually him. It's actually him. Holy crap, we just got a leucistic rabbit with the 300 grain arrows. I am so glad that we finally got this thing. I... This is four or five hours in now. So... Man, we actually got a heart shot too, that's awesome. Man, I'm just so glad I finally got this thing done and over with, finally. Alright guys, so right here is our super rare, uh... Eastern Cottontail Rabbit, and I actually did some further investigation to make sure that these actually are rare, and they are, so this right here is a true super rare. Also, this is my other leucistic, so I think we actually got the same variation for both of them. Maybe not, now that I look at it, I'm gonna actually turn this guy and see if he looks different. It looks like he's got a different variation, so anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here, so if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for more future content, and I'll see you guys in the next one.